Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. That's where we all take the same sketch or layout and use it as inspiration to create our own. Well, y'all know by now that most of the time it is a layout. We hardly ever find mixed media sketches. I tried and I did, we did find them to start with, but it was getting harder and harder to find them that were not already done. And this one's cute quirky and has cute colors doodling and all that in it so I thought I would have similar I'm gonna stick pretty close I did not have an alphabet to put as a stencil in the background but I had an eye chart and that picture is of my grandson when he got his driver's permit so I thought I'd go however all my work with it I don't even notice till I'm in here and starting the editing that you can hardly see it at all. Most of it's covered up. But I went over it in the peacock feathers and then I went ahead and added yellow to it. I started to add yellow around the edges and I thought, oh man, I should have done this before I did the stenciling. That would have been the smart thing to do. Later I'm going to add some green to it and it's not going to smear at all. I, I guess I let it set long enough, but I tested it on down there were the left where I thought that maybe my picture would cover it. Well, my picture covered more than I thought because here I was thinking I would just map my papers under my picture. And I happened to glance at the sketch, it's a sketch, at the layout, the picture of the layout, and noticed that there was washi tape there. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to pull some washi tape out. And this has circles. And so I use my brush so that I could get circles and the circles are doodled around and I will be doodling around them but I had a hard time deciding how many circles I wanted I didn't want to count theirs and have exactly the same I wanted to put mine on there and try to just do it my way but you know have it for my layout but still use theirs as inspiration I didn't want to copy it exactly but uh, I probably should have. <laughs> and um, I am, oh, here I decided that I was going to go ahead and start my doodling. So there was one arrow that just goes all the way up and through there, and I did it. But I have these stamps, and it took me a few minutes to get them as straight as I thought I could get them. And I'm stamping them on there, and I kind of, there's four of them, and I kind of staggered them on that uh Oh, acrylic block from close to my heart. And I staggered them so they could go from the top to the bottom. But it still looks skinny. It still looks like I should have put some more on there. Maybe doodled some. But I don't. I leave it the way it is. I love that plus sign uh, stencil. Y'all know that because I use it pretty often. Instead of having all my circles the same, I wanted to add different things to them. So I took out the, I think it's called coffee stain. I think that, no, it's splatters is what it's called. And it is Tim Holtz. And I added that to one of the circles. So that kind of sort of made a second circle. It's not really behind it as a circle, but there was enough ink there that it looks like it. And then it has splotches and splatters. And I'm just kind of putting them around the layout and adding a different color, you know, the orange. I didn't, I don't even think I pulled that out when I first pulled the inks out. No, I, I got that later because I thought this needs something else. It just is a little bit too pastel here. So, yeah. And when I was doing that, oh, if I barely touch the computer, I notice that it makes a loud noise. Well, it's not a loud noise. I guess I'm just doing it right where the microphone's at. I don't know. I've got my hashtag uh, stamp from stamping up and I stamped it on there with the green and I think my green needs ink on it because it's turned out pretty light I had some old alphas that for, for stamps they are close to my heart and I put rad in that one circle and up in the right hand corner I put just a little bit because it just looks so empty up there I didn't put much but I put a little bit up there just so I'd feel a little better about all that emptiness up there 
and I learned real quick. I did the first couple of circles, maybe three, and I had my arm laying on the paper. But then I did one and didn't have my arm laying on there. So if y'all do this, it's better off with your arm not laying on there. Your circle ends up less hesitant looking because you don't run into stopping anywhere. It all just goes around there smoothly. I got my mixed media stamps and I'm using that green on there. I almost used the black. I had it in my hand. I almost used the black. But I thought, no, I'm going to use a different color and use one of the colors that I'm already using on the layout besides the black. So I'm stamping it and then I'm stamping my, let's see, which one did I stamp next? I think it's the one with the little circles, the little tiny bubble looking things. And I put one directly into a, cir uh, a doodled circle and then I put the rest around the page and the one that I'm doing now, it has three little bullseye looking things on it. And I didn't use a block with it because I wanted to just make sure I only used one. So I just held my finger on it and just made sure I got ink on the one. And I put two in circles and then I think I added one more. Um, oh, here's where I make a huge mistake. It has black right up there in that right hand corner and they're kind of big. I thought, okay, I'll add some and I'll add smaller. Well, then I thought I'd go ahead and stop the video and let it dry, go fix up or come back. And I come back, I, well, I put it up to the side so that it'd be drying. And I come back and I go to get it and I didn't pay attention while I was doing it. I knocked it in the floor and it just went flying underneath this cart. So I had to go get it. Well, I smeared the ink. That's what I was pointing out. And I'm going to smear, smear <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm going to smear some more. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's just not dry. I remember one day using the black with the gold and the gold thinking it would maybe wasn't dry and testing it. And it was fine. So I started my layout and the black smeared. Same black. This is black velvet from Heidi Swap. And I don't think it used to smear this bad. Well, stay wet so long so that it smears. But yeah, it does. And my whole bottom of my hand and my arm has black all over it from me laying my arm right on those little black spots and smearing them. Yeah, I just keep accumulating more and more. I'm really getting into my work here. I added the washi tape there and still did not even think about my stencil <laughs> under there. And I do cover most of it up, as you can tell. You can see some, but not very much. Probably not enough to even know that it's an eye chart. But, uh, yeah, I had that other piece of paper out thinking I might cut it down, try to get a word like the word beep, like the horn, uh, showing and then lay it underneath there. But it was just too big to go there once I started putting everything else down on my layout. I'm not going to use that random fax. I thought I would, but I I don't end up using it. It's going to sit there all right, right till the end of the layout, and then I'll be taking it off. Most of what I used is from uh, Cool Kid, and that came from Hey Kid that was even older. I Let's see what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm putting my title, and it's just going to be Roar. I was going to put Boys Rule. But I thought, well, he got his license. He probably don't want to get called a boy. I probably need to put something else on there. <laughs> so I convinced myself I needed to put whatever else could work and more I decide could work. So I went ahead and used it. And here I'm covering up that smear that I just did a few minutes ago when I was doing something up there at the top. I, I could tell as soon as I did it that my hand was laying on there watching the video not when I was actually doing it but I just kept finding spots that needed covered up a couple of them I'll end up doing doodling on top of so yeah I've kept coming up with different ways I need to make sure I remember that that stuff needs like all night or something to dry not just about 45 minutes that little sticker sheet that I'm using it is from Rad by Simple Stories. I 
happened to think of it right when I was getting, I, I guess, the paper out or something. I don't remember what I was getting, but I was getting something before I started the layout. And sure enough, I still had a sheet at least. Well, that one I had with mixed ones, so I have them handy right here where, you know, uh, by my desk. But I didn't go look in the uh, iris container with it in there. But it got used on here. And it's great. It looks black once you actually lay it down on the layout. But while it's on the sheet, it looks like a dark gray. And I even pulled out a black one to look at <laughs> to see if it was black or if it was gray. And the black looked black. And it still looked dark gray, but once I put it on the layout, yeah, it looks black. Um, let's see, what am I doing now? I Oh, up there where my arrow is, it looks so straight and so skinny and all by itself. I thought, do I need to do more doodling there or what? And then I seen those arrows and I thought, maybe I could work them in there. And yeah, I worked them into that arrow so the arrow wouldn't look quite so straight and all alone there. My other ones are right there, but for some reason, it just looks straight, skinny, and alone. I was telling about the paper I didn't put behind the photo. I thought, maybe I'll tell about the ones that I did. One is a map, since he is, you know, holding his driver's permit. And the other one had chevron arrows pointing both directions. Like, you know, I was thinking going places, so I did the chevron arrows and the map. So I did have reasoning behind the ones that I did pick. And y'all can see me doing the doodling. <laughs> it is something very simple, just so you all know. It's just a little star, the kind you make in grade school, and think you're so awesome because you learned to make it. And here I am, you know, many years later. I'm not going to say how many. And I'm still making them on my layout. I was looking at that big blotch of orange up there in the left-hand corner, and I thought, I need some down there on towards the right. Well, y'all can see I don't have much room over there, so I just put it down in the center to give it a darker color orange down there. But that's it. That's my layout. And it was a fun one, so if y'all want to do it and post it in the Facebook group so we can see it, we'd love to have you. Um, and you can do some doodling on your layout, too. And if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But don't forget that also down there is links to the others that are doing the Mixed Media Frenzy today and using the same layout that I'm using. And I'm sure they're going to have awesome layouts and have a lot of fun, too, just like I did. But, uh, yeah, this one's mine. And see where I put those squiggly arrows? One has a paper airplane and one just has a squiggly arrow on top of that skinny little thing that's going up through there. I don't know what I was thinking. And there's the glasses and the title with the roar and the washi tape down in the corner covering those big blotches that I reached under there and pulled it out thinking it was dry by then but no but I hope y'all have a happy scrappy week take care and stay safe bye